it was on a hot afternoon in Rome, and I know that he was on heart tablets, and for some reason he um, apparently did not take those pills. He forced his heart attack on himself. Photographer Erwin Blumenfeld is thought to have deliberately run up and down Rome's Spanish steps in the searing heat. He didn't want to be uh, taken to hospital and he gradually seemed to lose his breath. It was almost as if he choked to death, I think. It was clear that this was something he had planned and didn't want to be revived. It was a suicide, I believe, yes. Because he knew, he knew uh, what he was doing and why he was doing it. After his mysterious death, the man who was once the most highly paid photographer in the world left behind a cache of famously iconic images. The Derwai, the girl on the Eiffel Tower, the girl behind wet silk, and Grace Kelly framed in gold. What makes Owen Blumenfeld stand out for me as a photographer is his amazing ability to create imagery that when I look at it now, all this time later, like 60 years, 70 years later, I look at it and I go, I wish I'd done that. I wish I'd taken that. Erwin Blumenfeld's obsession was with beautiful women. He had a way of expressing desire and it's, it's amorphous, you know, it's not specific. It's a kind of yearning. You sense this woman obsession behind the pictures. The women seem alive. But his fetish for beauty led to a complicated private life that would threaten his artistic reputation. There were various women. Uh, there were jealousies, there were rivalries, there were complexities. The women in Blumenfeld's life failed to work together to curate his legacy. 30,000 negatives, 8,000 black and white prints, and dozens of fashion films. To this day, much of his work has never been seen by the public. This is the family legacy. Destroy, destruct, separate, and divide. At the peak of his career, he took hundreds of covers for Harper's Bazaar and Vogue. So what happened to Erwin Blumenfeld?